83-year-old Josie Traum, as a child, was hidden by nuns in Belgium and escaped World War II alive despite the murder of other family members by the Nazis. So, when Tilden Middle School here in Rockville was struck for the second time since April with incidents of vandals scrawling swastikas on desks, administrators here knew who to call. I think it went very well. I was very, very pleasantly surprised. The child spoke today after a meeting with students that was closed to the media. She said she emphasized this famous quote from Pastor Martin Niemöller, a German Christian who became a Nazi resistor during World War II. First they came for the socialists. I did not speak out because I'm not a socialist. Then they came to, for the trade unionists. I did not speak out because I am not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews. I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. And I always emphasize this to the kids. Not, they could be bystanders or they could be involved. Each child, each person can make a difference. The historical meaning of these symbols and why somebody would be upset by it is important. Tamar Lecter is the mom of a sixth grader here. And I think while we still have Holocaust survivors that are alive, it's great to be able to still hear their voices. So, I mean, I feel really lucky that my kid gets to take part in this. School authorities and police are still trying to identify who has been scrawling the swastikas, promising to hold them accountable. Some parents say the school system here should be adding more content to battle anti-Semitism to the curriculum. In Rockville, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.